So you've uh, probably heard of the book, Beat the Heart Attack Gene. Did you ever wonder what that gene is? It's 9P21. 9 stands for the ninth chromosome, and P21 stands for the location on that chromosome. This video is going to talk about that gene. There's been a lot of um, research just over the past couple of decades, which uh, helps us understand that gene better, but there's still a lot of questions left. Now, uh, you may have heard, if you haven't uh, heard of this book, I've got uh, a, uh, a video that reviews it. It's by Brad Bale and Amy Deneen. Brad uh, worked uh, with me in, in our uh, office for a while, and uh, I went to a few of his seminars. He and Amy have been fighting that hard fight for the past 20 years, trying to get people to understand, mostly doctors, but dentists go to it, and uh, the general public goes to these training sessions as well. Um, but trying to get people to understand that it's not, I mean, LDL is important for one out of 200 people, but, um, it, it's not as important for the rest of us, for the vast majority of us, um, it's inflammation. And 9P21 is one of the major dri genetic drivers for inflammation. Um, I'll be presenting uh, a lot of the Baldenine basics in the upcoming Orlando Healthy Summit event. Uh, and this is some of the uh, the 9P21 section out of it. Starts off with this uh, comment about genetics. It's all in your genes. And as you can see, this family, the dad has brown hair, mom has red hair. Every one of these kids has red hair. Is that genetically uh, predictable and accurate? Uh, maybe not, but <clears throat> you get the point. Now, the major uh, genes that Brad and Amy talk about are 9P21, KIF6, APOE, 4Q25, and haptoglobin. I'm going to mention right now just very, um, well, uh, just very quickly, 4Q25, I'm homozygous for that. It's the atrial fib gene. Haptoglobin is the major uh, diabetic risk gene. And again, I've got videos on these. If you have any interest in those, go to those other videos. Uh, this is going to be, again, focused on 9P21, ninth chromosome P21 area. Now, the, the prevalence, the uh, number of people that have it, for Caucasians and Asians, 23% are homozygotes. Homo meaning the same and zygote meaning the, uh, uh, the allele or, or the genetic uh, makeup. So <clears throat> for those homozygotes, it's a 56% risk of uh, MI and cardio coronary heart disease, a doubling of risk of young age MI, myocardial infarction, in other words, heart, heart attack, and a 74% increase of AAA. What's AAA? Abdominal aortic aneurysm compared to non-carriers. Now, what they didn't mention on here is that it's also uh, very much related to berry aneurysm or intracranial aneurysms. The... Um, Risk is independent of traditional risk factors such as age, gender, hypertension, lipid abnormalities, diabetes, or smoking. Now, diabetes you need to be aware of. There's a, a unique issue regarding diabetes. There is another SNP, sing, uh, single nucleotide, nucleotide uh, polymorphism, in other words, or a mutation area. There's a second mutation area within 9P21. It is a diabetes gene. Both of these risk genes, the heart attack uh, risk gene and the diabetes gene within 9P21, are what we call controller genes. They don't really act in and of themselves. They control nearby genes. And again, we'll talk about a little bit more of that because there's been some very recent research uh, demonstrating just what I'm talking about. 50% of uh, Caucasians and, and Asians are heterozygotes. So, which makes sense. If 50% are homozygotes, I mean, if 25% are homozygotes, 50% are going to be heterozygotes, and 25% are not going to have it at all. That's just basic Mendelian genetics. And if you have questions about that, put them in the, in the um, discussion points below. And if I see enough of that interest, I'll cover that and show it uh, in images as well. So for the heterozygotes, um, the folks, again, you got one, a risk gene from your, one of your parents and a non-risk gene from the other one. You have a 25% increase of 
heart attack, 50% uh, increase of young age in, uh, heart attack, and uh, uh, over a third increased risk of uh, aortic aneurysm. So <clears throat> I mentioned something a minute ago that I'd like to go a little bit deeper on, and that is intracranial aneurysm and the specific heart attack risk uh, area within 9P21. In um, Nature Genetics, January of uh, 08, Carrie Stephenson and the DECODE group, um, that's a large group involved in this area, demonstrated uh, <clears throat> getting into some fairly geeky genetics, which I won't cover, but that same sequence variant on 9P21 associates with myocardial infarction, abdominal aortic aneurysm, and intracranial aneurysm. Now, um, that is very, very interesting to know, and it's a different sequence variant in that same region, 9P21, which is associated with diabetes. Now, there's, I just want to go back and mention a a uh, video uh, for just a minute, and it's one of these things in YouTube, sometimes the content can be way up here, uh, but the if the production is low, the interest is low, and you get very few uh, views, and that's exactly what happened with this one. This is a great video on 9P21. I can't move it any further, but you'll if, if you go look at it, I'll, I'll put a link to it under my... Um, under the video, if you go look at it, it's um, only 320 views. Why is the content so good? This is Eric Topol. Eric Topol was the, <coughs> excuse me, head of cardiology for, um, I believe, Cleveland Clinic, then went on to be the head for Scripps Clinic, um, has written books like uh, the, the Internal Destruction of Medicine, where it's basically talking about how medicine is getting reconfigured with genetics and technology. He was a big um, proponent as a cardiologist for um, iCardia. iCardia is that electrode that you can use to hook to your iPhone. I used it to diagnose my own atrial fib. So I'm just going to uh, break over to this video for a second, and you'll see why it's only had 130. Uh, uh, excuse me, 320 views. It is on the 9P21 story. This is really a fascinating one, which goes back to um, June of 2007. So as you see, uh, it's, hard, it's a guy laying back in his chair, talking very quietly. The lighting's bad. The, uh, you can't understand it very well. Um, I know a lot of you are very tolerant of the longer videos, but um, I do get decreased uptake on long videos, so I'm trying to get them down closer to 10 minutes again, uh, and I see we're getting close now. So I'm going to cut this off as part A, in part and the basics, and then in part B, we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, some of the research which has been done recently in this area. Thank you for your interest.